hello amazing family welcome back once again to my channel how are we all doing it's good to have you all on here today we'll be making together goat meat yam pepper soup for new mothers the Igbos will call it Jimiroku. I think the Delta call it Nkodo. While we call it in a quiet So we are going to be making this together. Stick around. If you are new and you love what you watch, please do not forget to click the subscribe button, like, share, and drop your comments. And for my old subscribers, I appreciate every one of you. So for this recipe, we'll be needing our ground crayfish, we'll be needing your zizar seed. I need additional zizar seed even though the pepper soup spice which I have here already has a zizar seed. I am adding more zizar seed for more flavor and heat in the pepper soup. And then the pepper soup spices which already is grounded has uda in it as well but I'm using more because I need it to be very concentrated and that's we are here. Uyayag is very important as well in this pepper soup because it encourages the contraction of the womb so that it expels any leftover blood and then shrinks the womb back to its place. Even helps the stomach as well to reduce. And then I'm using Uda. I'm using it all like that. Although some persons always would want to open it up like I just did now and take out the seed because the seed makes the soup more bitter but i'll be using the seed in mine because I, I don't mind the bitterness but if you don't or you can't stand the bitter taste by all means take it out i have the already boiled goat meat i just pre-boiled it down put it in the freezer and then very important as well is our dry smoked fish yam of course i'll be peeling and cutting it into half moon which is already done here very important as well the washed and clean cut into half moon now it's time for us to start cook so here in the pot i have the stock water in which i use in boiling the goat meat i strained it out already so i'm just transferring the washed yam into the pot all of it when that is done i'm going to be adding enough water to cover it up so i added now the meat And then salt the water is to the level of the yam more pepper will cover now and bring it to a boil so it's been boiling and back to it I forgot to mention if you're using seasoning cubes at the point I added salt and pepper you should add your seasoning cube at that time so now time to add the uda the uya yak and also the crayfish and the pepper soup spice I'm using enough crayfish that's why I'm not using seasoning cubes for this particular recipe that's a pepper soup spice now I just added into the pot and now I washed the dry fish the bone and I'm adding it into the pot we'll cover again let it cook for about 15 minutes 10 to 15 minutes and then we'll come back to it then we are back to it. I just tested now to see if everything is okay and the taste is right. It doesn't need any other thing. I'll just let it cover and cook well. And then we are back. I just checked the yam. The yam is soft. And I added my washed and chopped efiri, scent leaf, and dung. Whatever you will call it. And then we are ready, ready, ready to eat. So to all the nursing mothers, nothing fathers this is how it is being served on the dining table let's enjoy i really do not know why it is always served separately that is how i grew up to see it when my mom had my younger ones this was always prepared and it was always served this way but you can always also eat it with the yam and the pepper soup in the same bowl as well if you have watched to this point i appreciate you Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.